Hello, Chloe. I got a couple of things to show you for this. So you probably already found this e-learning in your math story problem. What you're going to do when you're here is first you watch the video that you're watching right now, and then you're going to complete the math story problem. So after this video, you're going to click right here where it says scan from Xerox and it says via Kami at the bottom. Kami is a website we use to help write online. So it helps you answer some things that we do in school, but online. So it's going to look like this when you very first click it. And you're going to go up here and click on Open with Cami. Now, yours, mine's going to look a little different because I'm the teacher, but yours will look pretty similar. It might ask you to log in. And if you do need to log in, use your Google pa email and Google password, which you should have. And if not, ask and we can get it for you. So you're going to sign in up here at the top and it's going to slowly load and it's going to bring up this worksheet. Now this thing's going to show up kind of sideways like this. So let's see if I can remember how to move the picture. Maybe it's thinking still. Oh, look, it automatically fixed it for us. Good deal. Okay. So what you're going to do, this is the story problem. We're going to do these every day. And you're going to work on this with Kami. So the way this works is you come over here and click this little drawing tool. You can change your color, change your size, just like any other thing. And you can use this to write, just like that. Or... You can come over here and click this letter T for your text box. Make a text box and type whatever you want. Okay. So you use those two tools to help answer this question. So what you're doing with this story problem is you're going to read up here. The bakery ordered 500 pounds of strawberries this week. They used 135 pounds to make shortcakes and another 287 pounds in pies. They also made 50 pounds of chocolate covered strawberries. How many pounds are left to bake in the cake? So you're going to work on answering this question as part of your math today. Right here where the break it down is or the smiley face, this is where you're going to write down all the important information. So how many total did they have to start? How many did they eat? How many did they use to make? Okay. And then you're going to look over here. What is the question? What are they actually asking you? When you look right here, it says, how many pounds are left to bake in the cake? So that's going to help you figure out how to solve this question. Down here at the bottom, you can show your work. And then for my solution, your answer is going to go right there. Now, when you are done, you're going to come up here and hit save. And that automatically saves it for me. And then I'll be able to check your work once it's saved like that. Okay. So if you have any questions, let us know. You can... Uh, ask on Google Classroom, have your parents email us, whatever you need, just so we can make sure you get this thing done right and don't have too many problems. Okay? So if you have any questions at all, please let me know. And then there's going to be another thing on here you're going to work on that looks like um, a half sheet of paper with, or no, it's a full sheet of paper working on rounding. And there will be another video for that. All right? Thank you, Chloe. Good job.